Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here we successfully installed Laravel Breeze. I hope everything, every concept is very much clear to you. Right now we can able to log in, but right now we don't have any data. Right? If you go to that our user, into the user area, right now you can actually create one of the new register. But now before doing this, I want to do and to seed some of the data. Seed means I want to insert some of the particular data in our database table by adding that seed functionality. I show you for doing this. First of all, we have to do that is in our project into the project. My database related everything will be in our database folder. And that is our migration, which I have already discussed about that things with you. And then that is our seeder. So into the seeder area right now, by default, that is one of the seeder as a database seeder. And also there is some of the factory as a user factory. Okay, great. So now on to do and to create another new seeder if you want to create this new seeder we have to do um, in particular that position i want to create it that will be the php artisan and then make i want to create another seeder okay i want to create another seeder and i want to name that seeder name as a user okay user stable seeder Okay, user stable seeder. So now this type of one of the seeder I want to create. If you now click as a enter, now you can see one of the new seeder is successfully created into the database folder, seeder and user table seeder. Okay, now we have to do, we have to go in particular this folder. Now you can see into the seeder. Now that have the new seeder I have created as a user table seeder. So into the user table seeder area here right now, first of all, I want to create as a multi-user authentication system. Like I want to create that user will be which one. If you go to that our migration, if you go to that our user into the user here, I have already allocated that will be as a admin, agent and then user. So first of all, I want to create this type of one of the things. Okay, here better right now I want to do. If you go to that our user table seeder into the user table seeder area here in particular this position we have to now create okay so I want to do I want to use it as a DB so that will be as a database database table okay here I want to assign that our table our table name will be which one that is one of the query builder so that is a DB table DB table mean means in our which table I want to add I want to add it that things in our users table right so for the reasons here I copy that our user and now in our users table area here I want to do I want to insert right i want to insert some of the data so that will be as a insert great so into the insert area here i want to insert particular three of this data where i put some of the node that will be for the admin okay i want to add some of the data for the admin first so into the admin area here if you want to add it like here i want to do i want to take one part so that will be our one part in particular that area i want to take our field name as a name name area for the admin i want to assign some of the string value string value will be as an admin okay when i see it then everything will be more clear to you that is our first field name and also here i have already made that our username will be as a nonable and photo phone address is all the field is a nonable right which is fine now i make that only a name name will be as an admin and also i want to assign another field okay here i want to assign another field that will be as a user name okay username username also i want to use another username that will be like as the admin okay better i want to make it cap it in a small letter as the admin great then i want to also assign another email so that will use our all the database table field okay so that is actually our database table field that means if you go you can see that is our database table field and in particular this field area here i want to assign some of the demo data so that will be actually our demo data so email i want to do i want to use one of the email like as the admin at the rate gmail.com so that will be our email okay email data great and then i want to assign our another one as a password password and password will be obviously as a hash password because here in laravel when you create any password when any password will be in, in stored in our password field i want to do i want to encrypt it, this password so for the reasons here i can want to do and to create one of the hash password if you want to create add that hash then we have to add you allocate that hash h a h h okay hash create hash make 
that means whatever the password right now i want to add that will be make this hash password okay so i want to do right now i want to use uh like as a one 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 okay so that will be actually our string value and this value will be make it as a hash make okay it shall be make these things as a hash password so that will be our password as a one 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 great and also our another field um, this all actually the nonable that means if there have no data it should be not display any error another field as a role and status so both of this area I want to update the data so our another field as a role okay and role for the role I want to do and to assign our role will be as an admin okay I want to assign that admin our role should be as an admin and also a status so that is a status okay that is a status make that sure our field name our field name i have used it as a status right so that means that is it will be our status field and status field that will be rather than active rather than inactive so i want to better by default that will be as a active okay i want to do to assign it assign that our value our value string value will be as a active okay that will be as a active great I hope it's very very much clear to you so that will be our admin all the data here that is all that our database table field name and here i am to you add in that means i want to insert some of the demo data so that will be actually all that our demo data great right now i want to do and to take another one here better i copy it and if you want to add another one that will be another comma okay make the sure you add this comma and i paste it so right now that will be for the another one okay here i want to better put some of the note for you then that will be helpful here i want to better make it as it that will be as agent okay that will be for the agent and also better i copy it and then i want to add another comma and then that will be our another one that will be for the user so i want to now create three of this uh, type of user one will be as an admin admin user data i have already added now for the agent for the agent i want to use like as a, that will be our name name will be as an agent that this type of one of the data you should be stored our username i want to make or make it as an agent okay that will be as an agent i want to make it as an agent at the rate gmail.com password will be the same role will be right now as an agent and also i better make it as a active okay great and also for the user okay for the user i want to use it as a name as a user user name will be as a user what about the data actually you choose right now for education purpose i'm using that same name later we will create some of the new user for the admin agent and then user so it's totally fine now there is a user make password i have already make it as a one 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 which is fine our role will be as a user that will be also as a active great great and also better i want to make it as a one of the comma that's all okay friend right now there is a one user for the admin another user for the agent another user for the user great okay and here also two things now we have to add first of all i have used it on the query builder and into the query builder i have used the db so when you use that as a db make that sure you have to do you have to also use it okay make that sure you use that db okay i simply support that db and also i have used that as a hash if you want to also use that hash or we have to do have to add it you can also get that hash link if you go to that http controller auth they are also using that hash if you go to the register user into the register user you can see that is on the hash that will be comes from the illuminate support facet and then the hash so better i copy it and now in our user seed here i want to paste it so now make that sure you load that hash make that sure you load that db okay here i have already added two of this perfect perfect now i want to click as a save all so now it's getting some of the error mm, in which place actually it's getting that error here maybe, maybe you can see it's already becoming red that means they have should be some of the error now i want to do here that should be one of the semicolon okay if you use that semicolon so that is the ratio okay perfect now click as a save all mm, that is now you can see now that is gone great so make that sure there should be some of the comma here we successfully done our three of this user and we successfully loaded both of this great now we have to do we have to work into the factory 
if you go to that our user factory that is on the by default factory now from to this area i want to pass all that our data that means if you want to actually add that multiple um, user data then you can actually pass all that fake data from to this position better i want to continue this process in our next video i want to add some of the fake data from to this area so how to do this work i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video